In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can change our coaster type. If we go to coaster and to settings, you'll see that we've got three tabs at the top. But this first tab, coaster type, lets us change from a variety of preset coaster options that are available. So for example, we could set um, our roller coaster as a wooden coaster, a classic six seat wooden roller coaster. Or we could use our launch coaster. You'll notice that all of these um, coasters um, are a tr traditional upright roller coaster. There are, however, some called inverted coasters. Now, the inverted coaster means that our roller coaster carriage actually hangs below the track. So, if I was to select an inverted coaster type and then click on OK, the track has now automatically changed so that it's an inverted coaster. But the problem with this is that um, at the moment, if I go on a side on view, most of the ride, um, the coaster is actually being uh, ridden underground. So I need to um, lift up the track so that there's space for people to actually hang below the roller coaster track. So I need to zoom out in this left view, click and drag a box around the entire roller coaster, and lift the roller. Oops, let's just go, go back a little bit and lift the entire roller coaster up. Okay, now that I've lifted it up, um, I'm uh, there's one more important change that I need to make, and this is one that's going to take a lot of time um, to do. But you'll notice that our supports now are going to be interfering with the roller coaster ride. So I'm now going to need to delete these supports. Now I'm not going to delete all of the supports because that's just simply going to take too much time on this tutorial. But I'll just delete a few of them so that um, you can understand what I'm talking about. So we're now going to need to use either an inverted support or for sections closer to the ground just a small inverted support. So I'm just going to use um, a small inverted support just for the start of the rise but towards um, the top of this rise I'm going to use large inverted supports and down the other side. Okay, and now we can ride the simulator. And I know there'll be plenty of problems with uh, the supports here, but, but this um, is just um, a tutorial to explain to you the basics of how an inverted coaster works. As you can tell, one of the things that's really important about using an, an inverted coaster or selecting the type of coaster that you're going to use is that you make that decision before you put your supports in. Because you don't want to um, do what I'm doing and having and have to undo all support types. So we're on our inverted coaster and you can see that we've now got the correct type of um, supports for the inverted coaster as we go up this lift. But as we come down the opposite side, um, you'll see how um, the single supports if I there are completely inappropriate um, for this roller coaster ride. So again, our banked corner supports are working well, but the single supports um, aren't satisfactory. Okay, let's escape out of this simulation. I hope you can get the rough idea of what you need to do to create an inverted coaster. Um, you'll see from the coaster settings that there's a number of different inverted coasters, not just that first one, but as you scroll through there are some other different types of inverted coasters available for you to use. And if you'd like to try a different upright coaster, then um, you might 
uh, want to experiment with a few of those as well. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial.